Oh, so that's how you do that. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make perfect error-proof cuts every time by simply using a scrap of your vinyl plank or laminate. Now this is an awesome tool. You can use this wherever you need to make a, a cut with your plank. It could be along walls, door jams, anywhere, fireplaces, patio doors. It, every time it's gonna measure perfectly for you so that you'll have a perfect fit every time you cut that plank. Now I'm gonna show you how this works throughout the video and then later on I'll show you how to make your very own. So here, let's watch. Okay, so now, I'll go down here, I still have my main chalk line snapped here that you can see. And I'll see where I need to be. I'm at 11 and 5 eighths. And so now I just go down and I straighten this floor out to that 11 and 5 eighths the whole way. Now once you make your cheater board, you just put it up against the wall. Now you, you can go under the sheetrock if it's under, or you can just put it right up against the sheetrock. It really depends on how you want to end that. Now I'm using a permanent marker here, and this will come off with the denatured alcohol if you get any on a plank where it's going to be showing. I would definitely do a test piece though to make sure that that is the case. I have found one vinyl plank that it does not come off of, but I'm pretty sure they don't make it like that anymore so you should be safe you can see how nice this is how accurate it is and how easy this will be for you so i got my cheater board and now i'm just going to go right along and i'm going to make and start making my marks now i jog in here and I actually got to bring this laminate in because this is a air, cold air return. So I need to make this so it jogs in pretty much, not all the way, but in a little bit. So I'll just kind of go on both sides and make my mark. And then I just keep going along, just like we've been, I've been showing you with this. And I'm just riding my board right along the wall and it's following the curve. That's one of the reasons why I made this board a little shorter so I can kind of follow the jogs of the wall. Now I just go right underneath the jam where I cut it. And I'll stop just like I showed you right there and I'll just draw it straight. Now this isn't gonna make it all the way. We're gonna have to put another board in there but we'll get to that one later. I'll just keep coming along and marking this wall. You can see how that jogs in there. Same thing down here. Now this one, I'll just run it under the jam a little bit and I'll kind of eyeball it because I can't get it in there good. And then I'll just take my board, put it on there straight so it's straight with the edge there, and draw my line straight up. And you see it right there. And so now I'll go cut all of these out, and that's how you scribe a wall. It's pretty simple. And you can see I didn't use this tape measure. So if it's crooked at all, this board is the trick to use. Okay, so I've got one more row to put in here before I get to this wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to figure now this row that goes in right here. I'm going to figure that right now is now I know that this piece, when I cut it is going to go here. I can cut the rest of my row. Like I said, put one more piece in and then I got to cut down there. Now I'd just take my cheater board and I'd start making my marks and just come and keep making my marks. And then I'll come to the corner right here and I'll just figure I'll come out about a quarter inch and stay straight on this wall and I'll just draw my line right there. So you can see there's my cut for this, for this next row. 
Okay, so I got this piece in. So now basically I just take it after I cut it here now and stick it in, get it in place. And you can see how that fit in there. This is the spot I'll use this pry bar, click it in. So now I can just slide this in and this one I can actually slide under this time. So I'm gonna feel the wall and I'll pull it out a little bit. I make my mark, I'll come, make sure I'm gonna clear there, I'll make a mark. Same thing on this side, make sure I'm gonna clear and I'll make another mark. So now I'll go and notch this out. And now you see how nicely that's in. Okay, so now you see how it works. And I just wanna tell you, there's so many different ways that this works. And you can see how some of these situations I've had the rows pulled out away from the wall. Other situations, I've only had one plank in there and then I made other cuts here and there. Now I have another video that I just released. It's, it's a video that you'll be able to find right here is a link. It's incredible tips for how doers installing vinyl plank for the very first time. Be sure to go check that video out. That video has many, many tips that are, that video is just packed with so much that's gonna help you and give you a lot easier of a time on your vinyl plank installation or your laminate installation, just like I'm showing you with this. Now I'm about ready to show you how to make your own cheater board. So here, let's watch. Okay, so here's another situation where you can use the cheater board to cut vents or to mark vents out to cut. Now this is a little bit of a unique situation because that where the vent falls is actually a couple boards away. And I talk more about these kinds of situations and other ways that you can use this cheater board in that other video I was just telling you about. Incredible tips for how doers installing vinyl plank for the first time. Now that also applies to laminate. So be sure you go check out that video to learn about this and so much more. With this marking board here that I use, this cheater board, is all I did is I took a board and I cut off the female end. I leave the male end on, which gives me the gap I want. By the time I run my marker right there, I'm getting the quarter inch that I want. And so that's how you make a cheater board. All right, guys, you see how easy that is. This is just a great tool. And I, again, like I said, I have so many other tips that I can share with you that you can have a much easier time with your vinyl plank or laminate flooring installation. So be sure to go to my channel and check out my playlist. I have a ton of stuff in there that break down every step of your installation. So go check those out. Now, my next video that I'm gonna be releasing is a vinyl plank job that we're doing in a living room and an entry and we're using costco vinyl plank in there i'm going to show my son-in-law how to install so don't miss that video i'm joe latender i really appreciate you watching and i just want to pray for you and your family that you are blessed that god blesses you greatly that your projects go really well and i pray for this in jesus name god bless you thanks for watching oh so that's how you do that